Hello everybody. This is a quick one. I just decided to go ahead and pop in and you know what? I was sitting here. I'm going to share this. This is being done live on Facebook. So when you guys come on, you can say hi. Um, I was thinking about it and we have the cold moon coming up on the 7th of December. And when I was out and about and I, I'm telling you what, it's just been one of those days. I, you know, I got a lot done, but then again, I didn't get much done. So I thought, you know what? I feel like going ahead and doing a reading for the cold moon because you know what I did when I woke up this morning and this is what I call a pop-up. I'm just doing a pop-up here. Um, I felt like compelled to do it. There has been a shift and I felt it this morning and I was hearing a bunch of stuff and I thought, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do it because I think this is going to hit home with a lot of people as well. I'm just making sure I'm up going here on Facebook here. Make sure pull you guys up so I can see you too. This is being done live on Rooster's Peacock on Facebook. I'm your Rita Barda. All right. Let me find that video. There it is. Yay. Found it. Okay. Now I can see you guys. Ireland. Love Ireland. I did that little, um, uh, before I get going here, guys, um, this, I'll take questions at the end as I have time. Okay. But this is going to be a general message for everybody for December 7th, the cold moon. Okay. It's, it's to focus on your culmination. Um, what's coming together for you. What have you succeeded in? Right. Everybody has. I guarantee. And the reason I think I'm feeling compelled to do this, and then I'll get back to the one from Ireland, what I was going to tell you. Um, the reason I feel compelled to do this is, like I said, there's days that you start get going. And, and like I said, this is being done on Tuesday, the 29th of November. Okay. And I will be releasing your December's general Zodiac readings on December 1st for those who are non-Patreon members. Um, if you're a Patreon member, you... Uh, get all of them ahead of time. I had them done in October. So that's Rooster's Peacock Tarot on Patreon. There's links on Rooster's Peacock if you want to find me. It's $4.44 a month and you get all of them, not just one. But anyway, I was sitting here and I was like, you have those days where you're like, I have been working my tail off. I've been doing this because I don't just do reading. I, I do a lot of other stuff. Um, I like to do art and stuff like that. And I mean, it just keeps going. There's tons of stuff. You guys get the gist though. I mean, it's just one of those days where I was like, nothing's, I mean, yay, you know, I'm, 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 everything's going good. And then bam, wait a minute, you got two more things to deal with. So I think that people need to sit back and reflect on how hard they've worked because it's not just days. It's been building up to days, days and days, right? For some people, because you work really hard and you're sitting here going, what in the world? When's it, when, when's it going to pay off? Okay. So I feel that there's other people that's going to be setting they're going, you know, really questioning why, where have I come? How, how, where, where, how far have I come? Um, what really have I succeeded at for all this work? Okay. Okay. So it, it's time for people to start focusing. And I know you can't be positive every single day. It's just not going to happen. Have your day, move on and go on to the next, right? Don't sit there. But this is going to be where you're sitting here evaluating what you put your all into. It could be in, in you know, it, all right, there it is. For whatever reason, tactical difficulty. That's okay. This has been the day. This has been the day. It's okay. I'm still going to do this. Um, so whatever you've been working, working hard on, whether you've been putting your effort into, and, and it's not just one area of life that people are going to be putting effort into, right? Not just about finances. Maybe you've been in, in people places and, you know, this will be friends, family, lovers, I mean, people, you guys have people around you that you love. You've been putting effort in, right? This is what it's about. And there's going to be days where it's like, oh my Lord. So this is what I decided to do. I'm going to do it for, because I had a, I have a good feeling, good feeling for the cold moon. I do. It may be a cold moon, but I tell you what, I feel good about it. December 7th, the shift has already started. If you haven't already felt it, I, I felt it this morning. You know, I was just like, I wasn't over the top. You know, hey, everything's going to be great, but I could feel a shift. All right. This is what other people are going to be feeling. If you're not feeling it right now, you will be feeling it soon. Hello. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to do a pop up because you saw the connection. I mean, that's been my day. So I thought, you know what? Let's do this. Okay. Ireland. What I was going to tell you is I finally did the ancestry.com and I've got quite a bit of, I have quite a bit of um, Irish in me. Yeah. There's, I, I've, I've always, wanted to go to Ireland. 
one of these days, maybe. All right, let's get right on into it. If you guys have missed the Coffee Time Tarot and you couldn't find it, the part two that I did uh, yesterday is on Instagram on Rooster's Peacock. All lowercase, cram it together, Rooster's Peacock, and that's where you'll find me, okay? Um, I'm going to do one more thing that I'm going to announce. Um, there's a lot of new people on here. What I'm going to announce is um, I'm... I have my own style of reading, and this is for those, I've had a couple readers just come on there and start redoing my reading for me. Um, nah, nah, I have my own style. I'm an intuitive reader. Um, matter of fact, I don't even have to have cards, but I like them because I think they're really good guides. Okay, so um, unless I invite you on my channel, please don't do that. All right. All right, guys, let's get right on into it. Okay, December 7th, cold moon. General reading for everybody. Yep. I thought this was, I felt divine on this. Okay. Surrender to the divine is what you've got. All right. This is going to be a universal draw for everybody. Each person should be able to pick out pieces and parts if I have time. Now, most people who've been on Facebook with me before, I don't always have time at the end to answer questions. And like I said, this is just one I decided to do. So I will let you know as we get closer to it. And I won't answer questions till the end. Okay. Yeah, I tried to figure out, it was it was my first time on Instagram, and I couldn't, and I thought, I found I could go live, and I was like, I can go live, let's do this. I didn't think about that, I'm not the most tech savvy, <laughs> so I didn't, I don't know how to download the video so I can stick it on Facebook. I don't, I don't know how to do that, so. It's out there, though, on one of these days I'll figure it out. All right, so the first card is Surrender to the Divine on the full moon okay i felt like doing this reading i really did i was actually going to hold off and do this reading tomorrow but i was like no nope, let's do this i need a break from my uh, my reading room and my work room and stuff here at two broke girls in jerseyville there's a there's a room in the back here and that's where i'm going to be doing my readings and and uh working on my projects i do a lot of art if you guys haven't checked it out you can check my profile out there's a lot of um there's a lot of pictures and stuff that shows you, you know, I like to do art. I'm an herbalist, aromatherapist. Just, I'm always busy, always busy. And so that's what I was fixing up my room. I will take it. Okay. If you did not watch the Coffee Time Tarot Part 2, a fiery climax approaches. That's a full moon. All right. We have two full moon cards. I had a feel. All right. But this is what, um, when life gets going, sometimes, you know, if you, it's not just one off day. It's like, especially if you're chasing your money, right? Hello. Hi, Miss Misty. Um, if you guys, um, don't have, haven't gotten to be able to see it, the fiery climax was on Instagram, but we're so busy and, and just trying to make that money just to keep lights on and stuff like that. Right. Well, sometimes we get a little bit too hard on ourselves. And I think that's why I felt like doing this reading. And like I said, I was going to do it tomorrow, but I thought, no, 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 no. Let's do this. Somebody needs to hear this. And I don't have a bad feel about this reading. Okay. I don't. Oh, third full moon card. Okay. This is definitely one. Yep. Look at the bigger picture. Okay. So that message instantly right there. And I'll get some more cards deeper into it. We have three full moon cards right there. And this is a full moon reading for the cold moon on December 7th. I just figured let's go ahead and give you guys a heads up. Because you may, that, that that's exactly what's going on. Look at the bigger picture. I mean, you had goals. Don't let those dreams go. Just don't do it. Hang on to your dreams. Do not let those dreams go. Because I don't think, you know, I, I don't necessarily can say that I was sitting here thinking that my dreams were just going down the tube, but it was one of those days where it's just like, oh my Lord, you know, I got a lot done, but it's just like, woof, wall after wall. And I'm like, whoa, okay. I'm not the only one that has those days, but it's been days, you know, it's been quite a bit and there is an extra vibe in the air on top of it. And it's building up to this full moon. This full moon is going to be a mother, but it's going to be a mother in a good direction. As long as you look at the bigger picture, there is a fiery climax approaches for some of you. I feel, Ooh, watch it. Okay. Because if you watch coffee time, tear it part two on there, it depends on how you react to the situation or whatever's going on. Okay. It, it's going to be fiery, but not acting, not responding to a past, you know, a past reaction like you might have before. 
because now you're catching yourself on this. Okay. That's, these are all going to be going out to different groups of people. I'll post more. <laughs> i take it. Oh my. And then the surrender to the divine. You feel like you're being divinely guided. I mean, you feel like you're in the direction. And even though you may be blind as to exactly, and in some days you may feel like you're blind. You don't know which direction you're going in. That's, I mean, that's, it's like you're chasing your own tail. No, that extra feel you're having, like you're sitting here, okay, everything's getting good. Everything's getting, and then bam, you got 50 things going on. It's like, wait a minute. Is this self-delusion? No, it's not self-delusion. It's surrendering to the, to the divine. You're getting a good taste of this before this moon even comes. And yep. I'm going to show you something else. Full moon reading for the cold moon on the 7th. We have another full moon. All right. Don't let pride get in your way. These are going to be messages that not just on the full moon, because you'll feel that some people will feel the full moon days and days ahead. And I know I'm feeling it right now. And we're sitting here at the 29th. Okay. So I always say 10 days before, 10 days after, especially if you're super sensitive. Um, some, some people will say, I, you know, I, I didn't feel anything to about three days and others are like, oh my God, look at all, the, look at all of everybody getting crazy. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So the next card I have right here is a new start is coming. These are all going to be messages that even though, no matter what you're feeling right now and up to this moon, you are being divinely guided. That is the base card here for everybody. You're being divinely guided. It's the choices that you make, right? Especially with that fiery climax card. All right, let's see what else we got here. Let's pull a couple more cards and I'm going to get right on into it. What did I tell you? Do not let your past hold you back. Now, these are just base cards. I will get more cards to pull out. I see that too. Any other cards want to come out? Papa. How about another full moon card? Full moon in Gemini. All right. This is going to be, so I'm seeing zodiac signs in here. I'll pull some of them out. It is, you know, it's going to hit home and um, some zodiac signs are going to feel it more than other zodiac signs. So I'm just going to pull out the zodiac signs. It does not mean it's just for them. Okay. Every person should be able to pull out pieces and parts. On this one right here, the answers you need are coming. Right? It's maybe you're sitting here and you're just like, oh my God, what, what, when am I going to get the answers? When am I going to be able to, you know, I'll take it. Dang. I like it. Okay. Uh, this is definitely going to be going out to Gemini as well. Okay. I'm getting two Gemini cards here. So, um, I'll tell you that in here in a minute. We got another full moon. It's going to be hitting home with cancers as well. Okay. Personal itch issues reach resolution. All right. Out of all these cards. Only three out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight base cards, because this is just one I felt like I was it, it, with this one right here, like something's not all seen or something's not all said. It's the hand over the mouth, I think. So this one right here, out of these eight base cards, not this one, this was just an extra one I felt like pulling. All but two are full moon cards. Every single one. All right. And I'm going to pull this one off to the side. And one more. Balance and spirituality and practicality. This was in Coffee Time Tarot Part 2. And so was your commitment was being tested. All right. All right. Let's get right on into it. And I will look over every once in a while. Yeah, I've got to figure out how to, I, I don't know how to download videos off Instagram. I just thought, you know what? I'm not a new reader when I went on there. Um. Uh, I, I'm not a new reader. I've been reading for like a long time. I'm, I'm 47. So I've been doing this a long time. And when I was three, I was playing with rocks and sticks and stuff and finding the answers on it. It was, kind of, you know, I've always been like this. Okay. So let's see here. Let's start with surrender to the divine. Okay. This is going to be the base cards. This is going to be for the overall read for the cold moon on December 7th. All right. Do -do -do -do. I'll go ahead. Let's see. Let me show, tell you what the zodiac signs are kind of popping up here. We've got Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini. Gemini's like, uh, I instantly, I felt like pulling cards. Pisces. All right. So this is really going to hit home, especially with some Geminis, especially because I mean, you got felt like two, I felt like pulling two cards on this one. And Pisces, it's rip Pisces. And I heard, uh, yep, yep, yep. Cancer. All right. There's cancer as well. It can be for any zodiac signs. I'm hearing Sagittarius as well. 
Do 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 do. What? Okay. Now, being an intuitive tarot reader, I don't always, as I get going, I'm not sh sure exactly why. I just feel drawn to put cards in certain areas. Like, I was going to start here and go through here. Instantly, the first card we've got right here is the Five of Wands, okay? And there is many meanings in here, but this is about a, the struggle. It just feels like constantly fighting, just constant, you know, just battle. What was I just talking about? Like, you work and work and work and work, and it's like, oh, my God, when's the struggle going to end, right? It was over top of a new start is coming. All right. So this is the stuff that no matter how you're feeling right now. And I think that's why it needed to be done now. You know, I was going to do it tomorrow, which would have worked too. But that's why this reading needed to be done. Because it's going to be almost like uh, you're not going to be trying to lose faith. But you feel like a, a, a hamster on a wheel where you're just not, not necessarily doing the same things. If you're doing the same things, you know, same patterns in life, then that's what you need to change. But if it's like you've been working and working and working and, you, and it's like you're going up a, a side of a, a hill that has nothing but sand and you're just spinning your wheels working, you ain't getting nowhere, right? That's what it feels like. Okay, this reading right here to tell you, uh, no, this you need to reflect. How far? Look at yourself one year from right now, from this date. Where were you sitting? Now, take a minute and you can't say that everything in your life was not successful, right? Hi, Miss Monica. Hi, Miss Dee Dee. Not every, it's, it's not like everything, you know, you can't sit here. But at this pattern right here, the, the feel and the vibe I'm getting off this one is, is a simple fact. That's where people are going to be sitting and, and looking. You know, just like what I haven't got that far. Bull, 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 bull. Not true. The reason I say that is those who have been sitting here and then I heard instantly, this is going to go out to somebody who's on here and it has to do with a, um, it's a family type quarrel of some kind. And it's actually, I, you're one that picks up, like you internalize it and you internalize it until you blow up. All right. And it takes a lot, a lot for you to blow up. And You've been looking for a new start. This new start is coming. And actually you wanted, this new start was supposed to happen. You thought about it last year. You were just like, mm. so you, you've been quite impatient about it to the point you almost gave up. December, you will get some answers around the 28th. Whatever this is about. This conflict is coming to an end. Whether, I mean, I'm now this is a guess. We don't know everything. Whether you're putting your foot down, whatever area of life it is. The end, end result is a new start is coming for you. And actually, what you've been working on for this new start, because you're tired of the same old, same old, you know, different day, same thing, you know, spinning my wheels. This is coming to an end. But this is not something that you just sit here and, oh, you know, I've worked on it. I've worked really hard. But, you know. Maybe that's just the way it's meant to be. That's not true. No, this is something that you put your all into, but you got to the point you're kind of tired. It's like, okay, maybe and you start thinking you're on the wrong path. Incorrect. Okay. The conflict, whether it has to do with um, arguments for some of you, arguments between two people. Yeah. Some of you, it's multiple. Some of it, it has to do with family a lot. A lot with family. I'm not sure what this is about. If you didn't watch Coffee Time, Tara, it was talking about this is... Some of this is in here. And that does feel like part of the last Coffee Time Tarot I did. Now, that was just a message that was going to someone. I'm going to put that one back in. All right. Fiery Climax Approaches. Let's go ahead and hit these cards one at a time. Now, number one, Surrender to the Divine. You know what? I will do it that way. Yep, yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. It says Surrender to the Divine. Let's see what this is actually about. I mean, how is this going to be hitting home with you? Some of you, surrender to the divine. Has to do with marriage for some. I'll take it. Others is your destiny. Some of you may do, actually, that's what I'm feeling, is some of you feel like you're being divinely guided, right? Surrender to the divine. But maybe there are stipulations or other people judge you. Maybe you do something along the lines that I do. Okay, whatever it is, it's... For some of you, for, I'm picking up on two of you, that it's actually considered a taboo. It's not a taboo. You're born that way, okay? Okay, next. Reunions. Um, I also saw reconciliation in my head, okay? 
You're being div divinely guided. Now, this is not going to, the reunions, yes. And I heard um, reconciliations. Reconciliations is not going to be for everybody. If you have left some kind of friendship or you've left some kind of, uh, sometimes family as well. Uh, if it was a love arrangement, if, if it was toxic, it was toxic. Okay. This is not going to go for you. This is just the base guidelines right here for surrender to, to the divine. This is what's waiting on the other side. Okay. This is what you, this is your divine path in life. And you get to choose, you get to choose. You can, you can go around every damn hill there is, or you can do the straight path. Other people are not as hard headed as such people as myself and at least three on here. Okay. There are some of us that it, we, 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 it takes us a minute. Some of you, you're being divinely guided. We've got proposal. All right. Some of you, this will be leading to marriage. I'll take it. Others of you. Now, I don't take these reversed, but it's reversed. And I just checked to make sure all of them were upright. This is love reverse. This is not going to go for everybody. This is just going to go for those of you. You're being divinely guided into a different path away from somebody. Okay. One more. Ooh, multiple. I'll take them. Nope, doesn't feel right. These two feel right. All right, we got challenges. All right, I see where this is going. I'm going to be putting these down here. And the dragon. All right, we'll get into those in just a sec. So basically, I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take those cards that, that are around these right here. Surrender to, to the divine. I'm going to show you the cards one more time. This is what it's around, okay? Any of those aspects in your life. And it doesn't mean you're going to have all of them. You take out the pieces and parts and you leave the rest. All right? For some of you, it's going to be evolving around marriage or a marriage. Others of you, it's destiny, okay? You feel like you're being divinely guided. You're being led. You are being led, all right? So if you're, you're not on your right path, sometimes it gets rough. Right? You'll have that tower moment. For some of you, the tower moment's coming down. All right? Or you feel like you're at a standstill. You're not really at a standstill. For some of you, is reunions. I heard reconciliation for some. Very few. Then we have proposals. Okay? That's exactly what it is. Proposals. If you're not married, there could be a proposal. And it's standing out December 24th, which would be Christmas Eve. I heard that for somebody on here. And then we've got love reversed and I don't usually read oracle cards reversed but it feels right it's walking away from love okay what you thought was love you are being divinely guided in the right direction and sometimes it's not always going to feel quite nice I'm going to take these cards right here and I'm going to put them right there so what are you being divinely guided for okay the fiery climax approaches and like I said definitely if you, if you miss coffee time tear it watch it especially part two I know I was tired that day but I got the message out all right so fiery climax approaches I see my red cards yes sir. Ta -da, ta -da. fiery climax tell me what this is about for some of you the fiery climax is learn your lesson and we've got the letter a all right Learn your lesson. What are, what are you supposed to be learning your lesson on? A fiery climax approaches. This is, I feel it's heated. It's like almost like an argument or could, could turn into an argument. Or if you watch the Coffee Time Tarot, it's where somebody really showed a side of themselves and you were really close. Family, friends, lovers. And whoa, whether they gossiped about you or they just really showed themselves a side. They showed past their shadow side and they were kind of being a jerk. That's what I got. That's what, I mean, this is just universal. And you know what? You know how, how many messages I received on that about how right around that time, I mean, my God, they were like, yeah, oh, you would not believe. Yeah. I thought about washing my hands and walking away because you know I can't do that. I was disrespected and yeah, it was publicly and, and it was just message after message. And I was like, whoa, okay. So like I said, I don't always know why I feel like doing pop-ups, but this is one. All right, so this will definitely be hitting home. What do you need to learn the lesson about, right? What do you need? Okay, this is going to be revolving around a fiery climax approaches. So, and it could be around the moon. If this hasn't blown up for you, if this has to do with the situation, if the lesson hasn't been learned, and I'm seeing love reversed in my head. Okay, so this is where I'm going to be pulling out these cards. Love reversed. This message is going to go out to somebody on here. 
learned your lesson on this. It is not working. You shouldn't have to work so hard for something. You know what I mean? I mean, love is hard. You have to take and work right together. But it's like, if you're the only one doing it, this is lack of love. This is one-sided. All right? Learn your lesson from the past. It's a past pattern being repeated. There may be a fiery climax. You may finally lose your crap. Which, on this instance, you know, this is personal opinion. This is not no psychic thing. I don't blame you. I also see somebody turning and crossing their, their arms and walking away from the situation. Know your worth. That's what you're doing. And it, it's, that's what you, that's what's going on. When you're sitting there watching somebody else, texting somebody else, you get your butt full. And that's almost what the situation, it's just total lack of respect. That's just something I was just an example. So this is, you're going to be walking away from a past pattern. And there may be a fiery climax because of this. Yep. Because in the past, recent past, probably I'm getting two. So I don't, I'm not the best on always. Sometimes I get it clear, but it, it's two, the number two. All right. Whether it was two days ago, two, no, not two days ago, two weeks ago, two months ago, actually two months ago stands out for, this is going to go out to somebody on here. The lack of love right here. Actually, it was rose colored glasses. I think you took those off and you're seeing this person for who they are. All right. Knowing your worth, fiery climax approaches. I do believe you'll be stepping away. All right. I'm going to pull that one back up. Let's put that back over here. And as I feel like I'm drawn to whatever area of life, I'll pull the message out. Okay. I'm going to leave that one there. Learning your lesson. All right. Or you're teaching someone a lesson as well. Fiery climax approaches. What else? What did I say? Battle. All right. Yep, no longer just this message is going to, that's for somebody who usually where you would be very quiet. You wouldn't say anything just to keep the peace so there wasn't, you know, it's like walking on eggshells egg is what I get. So you kept your peace and you kept it, you kept quiet because you didn't want to rock the boat. Maybe there's children present. All right, for whatever reason, you did not want to take and rock the boat. You're trying to keep the peace. It's almost like uh, in your head, you had it to where this is where, you know, once you're with somebody, you have to stick with that person. Uh, well, yeah, you got to fight for love, but this is not love. This is not love. This is, I, I don't even want to dig into the other party. Okay. Battle is coming. That's what you're geared up for. It is a warning to do not react like the past. Sometimes you need to do the opposite of what you normally would do. Would you normally jump and battle? Maybe you should turn around and walk away. That sometimes, nine times out of ten, will get somebody even worse than sitting here, you know, fighting them. I mean, really, verbally, however you do it. Actually, I think for some, yeah, I think that went past verbal. Okay, so here's the thing. is It's not, learn your lesson from the past. Learn your lesson to not repeat this pattern again and walk completely away. Don't give them the satisfaction of the battle. Because that's kind of what is behind the base here. Ah. Uh, now we're going to be switching. Here's where my guide switched me. I'm going to put these back in here. And I'm looking at the bottom card. A fiery climax approaches. We've got the wealth card. Okay? Wealth. It's surrounding around wealth. Your wealth. Okay, so remember when I said that uh, sometimes you're sitting there and you're just like, oh my God, it's like going up a hill. And you're sitting there spinning and it's sand. You just, you can work your butt off, but nothing's happening. Ah, uh, we've got wealth. A fiery climax approaches around the moon. And you will be feeling this. If you've been working really, really, really hard and you felt like that, uh, it's showing me you will not be feeling like this for long. Okay? Yeah, that feels right. That's a simple message. Uh, why? Because of your due diligence. And he's sitting here and this is somebody who's gold prospecting. All right? So you've been seeking your gold. You've been seeking your money. Right? And, and something, this is, this is going to be going for a person who's been seeking their gold as far as how do I put it? You're going to love doing it as well. Trying to get out of the uh, nine to five drudgery of, okay, I've just got to go make money. This is about your due diligence that you've been putting in on whatever this is. And this has to do with your money. It's slow coming, but it's going to be showing itself. Okay. When, when they're sitting here and they're gold panning, you get little bits. You might've had little bits and taste of it here and there. 
I'm telling you, it's going to be open it up because you got the wealth card. All right. I feel like pulling that one up. Oh, I got another message on the card. I got cold chills on this one. So this one is the fiery climax approaches. Why? Because there's going to be an untruth. We have the truth card. It is reversed. Hello. If you guys are new on here, you're welcome to um, like Rooster's Peacock. And then I also have Coffee Time Tarot, which everything's on, on Rooster's Peacock on Facebook. I just decided to do a pop-up. You guys are welcome to share this as much as you want. Okay, so anyway, the fiery climax approaches. This will be one where it's justified, where you kind of, I'm going to say, lose, and I do cuss, lose your proverbial shit. Okay, it is justified. But I always feel like this is going to a Libra person or somebody who's usually very balanced. I think you're going to lose it around there. But it's just it is justified. Okay, the, they always say you know, there's other ways. Around. No, I think this is where you put up with enough and it's time to walk walk on. And that's what you're doing. You're the truth is being hidden. But see, whoever this person that is hiding this truth from you, do you see the mirror? They're reflecting back what you say right back at you. If that makes sense. Yeah, that's going to make sense to somebody. It's an untruth. They're hiding their untruth by reflecting what you say. Whatever that means. I was told to stop there. Okay. Yep. We've got the power card. You think that's funny, huh? That's okay. If you think it's funny, you are more than welcome to get off my channel. See ya. Okay. So anyway, we've got the power card which is also a lightning fast, it, it's kind of like an aha moment. This will be an, this fiery climax that comes of this untruth. You're seeing it for what it is. This will be your aha moment. This will be one where you have not gotten that aha moment yet. And a lot of people did get what I call their, what, it's just, it's like an epiphany. It's like, oh, wow, I see this for this. And I, you know, it's just like an eye opener, Okay. And it's going to happen quite quickly. Okay. All right. Let's pull those back up. I'm going to put those back in here. Because now we're moving on. Okay. That's all I need. And that was for, it says, uh, full moon and Aries. Okay. Okay. The next one we've got, this is going to be, I thought I saw Sagittarius. It says, this is, um, look at the bigger picture. And then I started drawing some cards off of it. And it has to do with communication. All right. What is this about? Some of you, it has to do with the home. And I do feel like pulling different cards on, on this one. All right. Which ones do I want? Yeah, we'll do that. All right. So it has to do with communication. And I'm not necessarily, okay. Seeing the bigger picture. Let me look at here. Look at the bigger picture. Communication about a home. Okay, I'm not sure exactly who this is going to be going out to, but this, there is a great change in the home. This actually has to do with your home, all right? This is not just necessarily about somebody coming and going out of your home. This is some. This is somebody who, you know, this is has to do with your home, your actual home. You've been working, yep, you're waiting for news. That's what I get. What's this about? Yep, 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 yep. Some of you, this is going to involve a dark-haired man around this as well. That's not going to go for everybody. Okay, so anyway, look at the bigger picture, okay? So maybe you're not seeing everything for what it is. It has to do, you're going to get communication about your home, right? Or surrounding your home. You might have been feeling very restricted about the answer that you're going to get. Yep. We have the Eight of Swords. You may be, yeah, you may be feeling trapped. Yep, 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 yep. Trapped within self on this one as well. It's kind of like that, how I, when I first got on, how I described it, it's, it's kind of like, you know, I've worked and worked and worked really hard. Because whatever this is, for some of, I heard renovations for some. This is not going to go for all. All right, that just popped into my head. Feeling pressured. Some of you, it has to be about holding on to your home. But for this one right here, it looks to me like it showed the dark-haired man. It feels like I'm seeing papers as well. Okay. So this is almost, it's almost like you, I'm not going to put too much into that one. No, I'm not going to. All right. This situation here may have made you feel powerless, but the thing that is, 
whatever the situation is about here, it has to do with your home. You may be walking away from this. You're walking away from something you've built, something that you put a lot of work into. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what I'm seeing in my head? First, this is not going to go for all of you. I'm seeing the gavel in my head. This could have to do with a divorce of some kind. It's splitting of ways. Yep. Letting go. Just going ahead and walking away. Walking away. Washing your hands. Yep. If you feel that this is you and this is going on in that direction, we've got the um, star card, which is bright hopes and prospects. And I know there's many more meanings. So by all means, I'm going to tell you, I, I will go ahead and say this because there's a lot of new people on here. I'm going to say this again. Um, I have a certain way of reading and that's the way I read. So, um, I've been doing this for many years. The reason I'm saying this is I had some stuff happen earlier. I was looking and I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't, I, I don't come over there and say, hey, you should have done it this way. No, no. Okay. So I'm intuitive. So I just go wherever I'm drawn and I'll get messages left and right. Okay. So your style of reading, and I, and I know why I'm saying this. Somebody's on here right now. I guarantee you. Okay, I'll just leave it at that. So we've got the star card. It's bright hopes and prospects. It also represents Aquarius. So this may be hitting home with an Aquarius person as well. All right, yep. All right. This almost feels like, do you remember the other card where I was talking? I'm seeing the lesson card in my head. I don't feel like drawing it. This is actually, even though you may not be feeling like this when this happens or, or the situation's going on, once you make the decision to move on from some of you, it's actually moving away from the situation. You are actually going to be feeling more renewed because right now you may be in the middle of a situation and you may just now be in the starting phases of getting, and it's not a phase, but you know what I mean? You're just now in the starting gates of getting out and moving on from the situation. All right. But it does involve a home. It truly does. And for some of you, it's, it's cutting your losses on something. It's the past. And the theory with this person is three seconds ago was the past. All right. This is moving on. This is close. This is done. Whatever it is. Once you're done, you're done. You will cut your losses. It will not feel that way at first, though. That's what I get. Whoever that's for. Pull those back up. So and it's, it's giving me Zodiac sign Sagittarius. Or you're going to get a good taste of this during Sagittarius season, which is, yep, we're about there. I haven't looked at all the dates and everything. I've been so busy. Okay, the next one we have, this will, this is talk, I instantly, every time I see Leo, I think of the strength card, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, whatever this is about is going to take great strength within, right? And compassion, that one's popping up. That one's been popping up a lot. It says, do, yeah, okay, don't let pride get in your way, okay? Whatever the situation, I'm seeing the romance deck, where you at? Okay, don't let pride get in your way, Papa. Mm -hmm. I'll show you the cards here in a minute. Okay, I think I'm seeing that one. Yep, yep. I'm going to tell you right now that whoever this is for, this is what I call romantical. All right, so don't let pride get in your way. Yep, okay. What could this be about? I mean, I'm trying to, pe what I'm doing is I'm going to do a real quick piece together and what I'm seeing, attraction. It looks like that either it'll be around the full moon or you already have somebody in your life. And I'm going to tell you right now, the message is with these love cards, and I'll show you here in a minute, is do not forget the people around you. You're going to be so involved in what you're working on and your work or chasing your money that it's, you're, it's going to make somebody else feel you're going to feel disconnected. It's going to make a disconnect between two people when actually there's romantic feelings here. All right. There's romantic feelings here. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, but I, I can't because I've got to work. I've got, I've got to get this done. I mean, no, no. Oh yeah. They gave me my eighth, seven day in a row. I'm going to go ahead and take that. Uh, this is an opportunity here. This is an opportunity. And for some of you, this may be somebody who's already in your home. You may have somebody in your home waiting for you when you get home and stuff. And it's like, whoa, but you're so tired and you're so focused on a one way of thinking. 
that's there it ended up being and, and that's what it is it's just chasing your money and after a while after that happens i mean sometimes there's a disconnect you don't purposely do it but it happens because whoever this is is one track mind mind on their money and money on their mind and that's all they, they've got tunnel vision i'm also seeing another one in my head where they come home and the first thing they do is they relax but and there's nothing wrong with having beer or whatever but it's like nobody exists because it's their time but yet somebody's a somebody's there and you know get dinner made you got we're not talking this is going to go for everybody this is what i'm seeing okay you need to take a moment and turn around and don't have a prideful moment whenever somebody may say something like that they may be sitting here going you know trying to get your attention right getting to know each other it's time to get to know each other it's like there's been a disconnect somehow because of finances and career because that's the focus Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Yep. 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 It's time to, this is going to be for the ones where you're sitting there and you do have a good, you had, a, you, you, it's time to stop and think, why did you guys get together? This is not one where you're done. You're over with. I'm going to go home. I'm going to have a beer because I don't want to pay attention to the other person because they annoy the heck out of me. Okay. That's not what this is about. It's just where there was a disconnect. It's like, what the heck? What the heck happened? We don't, we're strangers in the, in the home, but we used, there used to be love. Okay. That's going out to that person. All right. All right. So the heads up on that one is it's time to take a moment. Yes. Financial, you know, you got to catch up on stuff and yeah, it nowadays it's hard to keep just even the lights on. It's hard to put gas in your tank. Okay. There is somebody who is goal oriented here, but whenever somebody does step up and say something to you, don't let pride get in your way. You don't have to have the best of best. You don't have to be like the Joneses. Okay? And I'm not saying this is going for everybody. This is going to hit home with especially I'm seeing three. There's going to be one that this is going to be majorly hitting home with. It says don't let your pride get in the way. You don't have to. You don't have to have the best of everything. That feels right. Yep, yep. Oh, let's see here. Don't let pride get in your way. I was told to pull a couple more cards. Let me see what time it is. Okay, I got a little bit of time. All right. Don't let pride get in your way. Again, here's an oracle card. Submerged. Iceberg. It has called, caused a cold moment between you and somebody else. It is reversed. Now, I don't, like I said, lately I've been pulling oracle cards and taking them reversed. Why? It is time to unsubmerge yourself and start paying attention. All right? Don't let pride get in your way. Yep, yep, yep. That could be a message as well for the other person who is around who's watching this person work and work and work. Try to see it from their perspective, okay? Sometimes people don't realize what they're doing. And if they're tired, I mean, when it's talking about pride, yeah, pride and ego are pretty dang blasted close here. And what I'm seeing is somebody like, you know, egotistically coming back at them. Okay, so again, yeah, it does. It does. It feels just like that. It feels close to that coffee time tarot. You have a choice here on how you're going to deal with that. If somebody comes at you egotistically, it may not be their normal personality. Okay, that's what I'm getting. But unsubmerge. Or <laughs> are you the one that's being, I don't want to say, that's not the word. Oh, my Lord. What's an iceberg? Frozen? Okay, I don't need to take that anywhere else. Okay, don't make somebody else pay for something. Uh, the, the thing it is, is you need to take a moment to see it from their perspective. Even though they may not be, you know, they're one-track mind. That's what I'm getting. And this is for ones where there was love there. There was love there. Okay, was. It's time to, you can rekindle that. It's, it's not something that's gone. All right, let's go ahead and move on. I'm going to move those up here. What'd you do? Hello. Hi, Miss Missy. Hi, Miss Susu. Okay, let's see here. All right, a new start is coming. All right, let's see what we get off this one right here. A new start is coming. Yes, indeed, there is. Heard that one loud and clear. I think each and every person, you know what, even though you may not be feeling like there's a new start, 
<laughs> not laughing at the words here. Hello. Not laughing at the words here, but victim mentality. What was I just saying? A, a new start is coming for everybody that you are being divinely guided. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what your per se belief is. You can feel a pull in a direction you're, you feel like you're supposed to be going in. You feel it. At, at, literally, between now and the moon, I guarantee you're going to feel it. And some of you may even start feeling like you're a little bit lost. What in the heck is going on here? What? Why? What's the direction I should take? Okay, you're already being pushed in the direction. That's why there's probably so much crap that's going on. Because sometimes the tower moment will come along, especially if you need to turn away from your past reactions. Or there's something from your past. This message is going to go out to one. There is someone from your past that is toxic. Okay, you are being guided to get away from it. And sometimes the tower moment, the new start is going to come no matter what. But sometimes, start paying attention. Have you been seeing a lot of fives? Fives are change, right? Really watch for the numbers when they start counting up. One, you're seeing multiples. Three ones, four ones. Then it goes two, three, four. When I see that, I know something's getting ready to go kapow. But it's changing and it's pushing me in a direction. Right? A new start. This is a new start. So make sure that even though, that's why I felt like doing this, this ahead of time. Like I said, I was going to do it tomorrow. But I thought, you know what? Why not? Do not get back into past patterns. Do not get back into the, what the victim mentality. What that means is, is feeling chained to something. Chained to a reaction of the past. Do you see how he's got the rope on the bed right there? But he can get out of it anytime he wants. This is a reaction. Many tears were cried. It's just, it's a new start is coming. All right. Decisions already been made. You're being guided and pushed in a direction for the better for you is what it is. No matter how hard it feels. Sometimes it'll, the universe will shake you up. Literally, Dane, you'll strip you of everything. If you're, if you're fighting against the tide, you're not where you're supposed to be. I've, I've seen it. I've seen it to where, you know, everything's lost. And you are forced to go in a different direction because, you know what, they can only sit there and tap you on the head, your guide, so many times until if you're not paying attention because you're so wrapped up in a toxic situation of some kind, they will somehow, you will be guided. And if you don't catch the signals the first time, it's it might be rough. So some of you, the tower is coming, but you're being guided in the proper direction you're supposed to be. Yes, waterfall. Many tears have been cried about this. Yep. But you will be changing the way you feel about this soon. You will not be looking the same. It's it's whatever this is. This is going to go for a message on somebody over here. All right. You see that you see the water cascading out. It's like a waterfall, right? In the past, it had been nothing but tears and sadness. Right? And it end up, you know, oh, I I'm going to have a new start. You get all excited and then bam, ended up in tears. Your message is not this time. All right. You have been, you're being guided. You had made a decision. You've already made a decision. This is not something that's subconscious. Decisions made. You've already made the decision, but it's been bumpy going in the correct direction. And you are in the correct direction. You're going away from the toxicity is what I'm hearing. Yep. Joy will be coming into our lives. That's what it's talking about. Counterbalance. It's not going to be so imbalanced here pretty soon, as soon as you Leave the situation behind and you do not react like, you know, I'm not saying there's, there are stuff that makes people cry and there's stuff that makes people upset and that's just human nature. But this is talking about a past pattern of maybe you would go into great sorrow or depression whenever you would feel triggered or you feel whatever it is you feel. This new path that you've chose, it is not like the last one. But you may still feel almost for a hot minute, I've got to react the way I passed did because that's what you're used to because you haven't had anything that was nice or good. This time it's good. Okay, that's going to go out to... Oh, you see the number five? See number five? Yep, yep. I don't know why I felt like saying that. Number five, great change. And whatever this is, not easy. Do not react to it. You're going to instantly, it, it's like um, if you get used to it and you're, you're, you've had to do it a certain way forever, you know, like it's a certain reaction, it's protection mechanism. This time it is safe. That's what I get. Yep. I'm going to leave that there. Ah, and this is going to blend in with do not let the past hold you back. 
right? Exactly. Those two cards are together. That feels correct. I see. I don't always understand why I do stuff, but um, this one right here was actually supposed to go with the, don't let your past hold you back. A new start is coming. Those were actually together, just like the uh, Gemini, the two Gemini cards. So every single one of these is uh, full moon cards, except for the extra information cards. Yep, yep. Okay, challenges over. Okay, I see why these right here. I, I was I, I I didn't feel like doing anything with them. I didn't know why. I just felt like setting them letting them set there. For some of you, this is um. I'm seeing January 13th. I know this is a full moon reading, but this is going to hit home with somebody. The number uh, January 13th is standing out for some reason. It's not December. It's January 13th. Another one, December 22nd. All right. Now the challenge is, is a January 13th. All right. This is overcoming challenges and we all have challenges. Let's see what this is about. Actually, I was just told to go to the next one right here. Okay. So for the challenges, I'll go over to the to the one that has, you have two Gemini cards here. The answers you need are coming and communication is the key. It's time to take your hand off your mouth. And I feel that there's been bits and pieces of information. Ah, got it. Yep, I'm seeing romance deck in my head. Yep, yep, I will do that. Ah, I'll take it. There it is. Okay, so this one right here for the challenges. These are base cards for all of them right here, but this is going to hit home with, and it gave me the two Gemini cards, which is answers you need are coming and communication is the key. All right. The first card, and this is challenges. This is, you're overcoming them. January 13th, these will be challenges of the past. Okay. I think I see a hand and you're moving it. You're speaking your truth. All right. And this has to do with, um, it has to do with love. That's what you are. You deserve love. Challenges, you're overcoming these. All right? You are lovable. Make the effort. So it's like there's already somebody there. There's somebody in the picture. That's what it seems like. But it seems like there's been a lot of challenges. And it, and not just talking about life challenges, I'm sure there's that, but this is actually challenges between communication barriers. All right? Maybe you both maybe you both had rough past. That that feels right. All right, this is, this is overcoming those challenges. And I'm seeing January 13th is standing out in my head for some reason. I'm not sure why yet. Okay, maybe I'm not, if, if I don't get anything off of it, then January 13th is the day. Okay, what's this one here? Make the effort. Okay, so yeah. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Ah. Uh, now, I, I literally just had them sitting here because I was like, mm. love yourself first. Okay, this is about, com this is coming together for, for the, this, I, this is going to be probably hitting home, especially with a Gemini sign. Okay. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Okay. So it's, it's kind of like, um, along with whatever this, it, it's definitely two people. I don't feel it's a part, it is a partnership, but this is all talking about love. Overcoming challenges or barriers between you and somebody else. That's what I'm getting. Why? Because you're no longer sitting back and, and you're, it, it's self-respect. You're kind of really showing. Yeah. Self-respect. Yep. D you deserve love. Okay. So for whatever reason, there might have been a, a past wherever you felt like you didn't deserve love. Whatever I'm... Okay. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a marker. Hello. Um, I'm seeing a marker. Like a mark over top of past. So whatever that means to you. Okay. So obviously to me, that is something that has happened in the past that has marked you greatly and made it to where it's been difficult for you to express or overcome challenges. And it's showing me the other person as well. Okay. I'm not going to get real detailed here, but it looks to me like this is being overcome. Mm -hmm. Communication. Speak your truth. That is the message. Speak your truth. Maybe you're sitting here looking at stuff a certain way right now. And I'm seeing an iceberg thawing. I'm not saying somebody was cold or anything like that. But I, I'm seeing an iceberg thawing. Breaking the ice. Breaking the ice. There you go. <laughs> breaking the ice between two people. That's what I get. The ice is breaking. The barriers, the walls that both have built up are coming down. And the message, it's safe for, it's, you deserve love. I heard it's safe for you to love as well. Okay, anything else? Yep. 
two more message cards now this may not go just for the same person this may be going for others these are just message cards here all right we've got chemistry there's great chemistry between these two people all right there is a strong magnetic attraction here your last message card release your ex whatever that means what it doesn't necessarily mean you're physically holding on to that person but mentally mm -hmm. for some of you this could the word wedding i was told not to go any farther a time has come to clear your energy the situation involves marriage whatever that means to you okay that message was supposed to reach somebody and i don't feel well okay i will yes some Another one. I'm supposed to give another one here for Gemini. The answers. This is the Gemini. Yep. 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 Communication is the key. The answers you need are coming. Okay. So what I heard with this one is communication is coming. The answers you need are coming. Okay. That's what I'm getting. And this has to do with hanging on to what's yours. Could have to do with an inheritance. It has to hanging on to your coins. You're very carefully watching this. You're waiting for news on this. You're waiting for something that you have worked on and culminated on for a long time. The answer is yes. It's you're going to be able to, you're going, you've had past issues with it before, but it is now culminating and you will be getting, you know, communication answers you need are coming. They are coming. Yep. 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 Stability, financial security. Maybe you've been working for a big purchase. Okay. Okay. The answer you've been waiting on are coming. You're going to see the results. Communication is coming. Okay, that's going to go out to a small pot. All right, let me put these away. All right, let me see what I got to keep track of time here. Okay, so that's all I feel like doing on those. This message could be going out to a cancer, okay? Personal issues reach resolution, but each person may be able to pull pieces and parts out. Okay, personal issues reaches resolution. Ah, okay. Personal issues reaches resolution. You will definitely be feeling this around the moon. And this is especially going to be hitting home with somebody who, and, and you could, if you're a cross watcher, this could be about a cancer. All right, this could be about, you could be a totally zodi different zodiac sign and you're with a cancer. All right. This feels like there's more than one person around. What's this about? And I heard fiery climax approaches. You got the bottle. What does bottles do? You're no longer bottling up what you think and feel anymore. Decide if the bottle before you is half full or half empty. Of course, it's both. It is now seeing the situation no longer in just, okay, the color black. We've got the color white. Yeah, that's all I see. No, now you're seeing it in color. It You're seeing it in a different perspective. Yep, yep. And it could be an event around this person. Someone reaching out to you. That, yep, feelings of emptiness can cause our self-image to... Okay, you're, your cup's filling up. You're no longer sitting here, okay? Well, my, cap, my cup's half full, my cup's half empty. That's what it says on here. I've been saying this for a while. I've been feeling this. I've been feeling this is going to be hitting home for a lot of people. It's your perspective and how you see it. You will be seeing it from a totally different lens, but it's not rose-colored glasses. You're not seeing it from dirty lenses. You are seeing it from a more open spectrum. Okay? It's no longer, okay, well, it's left or it's right. There's no in-between. I won't. I won't. I won't change my mind. Or if you're dealing with somebody like this, the situation's going to change. And from the message for some, don't bottle it up. Personal issues reaches resolution. Some of you, it's going to hit a fiery climax. Now, how that fiery, is it going to be exciting? Or is it going to be, oh my Lord. Kaboom. What's a bottle do? If you got Coca, if you've got Coca-Cola or something like that, or Pepsi sitting here in a bottle, and you shake that sucker up with some mementos, and you put a lid on it, what's going to happen? Kaboom. So choose your fiery climax. That has, it's revolving around, I think it's a cancer person. Personal issues reach resolution. So if you've been waiting for this, it's about to, I hear pop for some. All right, going on to the next one here. 
Hi, Miss Dana. All right, so. Balance and spiritual balance, spirituality and practicality. Okay, so these these cards right here, and showing me uh, zodiac sign Pisces. It could be for any sign. For this one right here, balance, spirituality, and practicality. Okay, that's how this is. When you do this, it's no longer going to be half full, half empty. You're actually going to be seeing an equal me. Ah, for some, it's going to mean equal medium. Okay, you're going to meet in the middle. You're no longer going to see it from my way, their way, or, you know, there's no in-between. This is about compromise. Now, this not everybody's going to be compromising. Not everybody needs to. You'll know your own situation. But this one here, balancing spirituality and practicality. This is being in the here and now, but still being connected to the divine. Yep, yep, yep. Some of you, your spirituality has been taken and kind of dulled down. It's either been black, white. Now you're kind of looking in the middle. You're seeing color. Okay. Your spirituality is starting to wake up. Mm -hmm. And what you, and then this is just a message. Your commitment is being tested. What are you committed to? I feel like presenting this as a question. What are you committed to? Truly. Well, I'm committed to this and I, I, I'm not to that. In the middle. See all sides. Think with your emotion and your intellect at the same time. Feeling and logic at the same time. And your answer will come quite quickly. And what's this about? Ooh, some of you, this has to do with the queen of diamonds, okay? A woman with an agile mind. This could be going, I think this message is going to the queen of diamonds. A woman with agile mind, a quick temper, passionate and shrewd. She's a born organizer. Now, here's the thing. When I see this one, and I feel it with this one too, if you're looking at the glass half full, glass half empty, I'm not going to see in the middle, then either you're extremely almost OCD or you are just pile it to the ceiling. There's no in between. That's what I'm talking. You see the balance there? There's balance coming back in. You have a choice to not react like the past. This is a message going out to somebody on here. Materialistic and we'll clap. Okay, we don't know. Da, 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 da. Yep, okay. And they chase their money. They chase their money like a mother. All right. So this is about bringing balance. You've been wanting balance for a while. You're bringing that balance back in. And you are going to be tested. What's your, uh, your, your commitment? What are you committed to? Who are you committed to? I don't feel it. Yeah, no, no. For some of you, your commitment is being tested. What is this about? A card of affection and high regard. It shows growth and strength, strengthening of friendships. Okay, didn't watch the Coffee Time Tarot? Part one and part two is on Instagram on Rooster's Peacock. That's what this is about. Somebody is going to test your commitment to them. Family, friends, lovers, and it's going to be through behavior. You're about to be tested. Are you going to, well... Glass half full, glass half empty, or it's my way or the highway. There's no in between. Okay, this situation, if you were really close, you are going to have to think in the middle. Not, not, you know, well, you're done. Going my way. Yep, black, white. Color. You need to see it in color. You need to sit back from a different perspective. Your commitment. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You may be wanting to turn away from some kind of commitment. And it could be friendship. When you have friends, you're still committed. It doesn't matter if you have paperwork or not, right? You're committed to your friends if they're real friends, all right? Whoever this is is somebody who would sit here and they normally wouldn't behave however they're behaving here. This is not normal. For some of you, it's going to entail gossip. You'll know. Just do not do the old past pattern of my way or the highway. There's no in-between. No, you have to see the in-between here because this is this is not the same people. You know what I mean? This is not the same people of the past. This is not, you know, fair weather friends, fair weather lover, fair weather family. This is close connections and somebody jacked up. They messed up. That was in coffee time care. For some reason, this is really going to hit home. And I, from the messages I've been getting, this is universally, this has been happening quite a bit. And they're like, uh, this, some of the stories I've heard. 
For others of you, your commitment is being tested. An opportunity for happiness through work. It may be necessary to have the ability to place someone's needs above your own. Your commitment is being tested. Okay, these are just messages. This may bring a new friendship. Four of hearts. All right. These are just going to be messages. I don't feel like digging hard here. The next card is the eight of clubs. Card of balance and harmony and quite delight. It shows the ability to enjoy uh, life with less emphasis on material things. Okay, this uh, right there, your commitment is being tested. What are you committed to? Who are you committed to? Is it a certain way of life? Okay, maybe you've come into the need to where you may not have all the stuff you used to have before. And it may be making you feel a lack of, like you don't have enough. There is a promise of happiness to increase with the years and appreciation of the simple things. All right. This is your commitment is being test tested. Okay. Who are you committed to? What are you committed to? Okay. It's being thankful for what's right there, right then. Right. What you have. People, there's other people who have less. And yes, I have every right to say this because I've gone from not having anything and losing everything to restarting. Okay. So I've had people be like, well, you, why you say that? Because I know what it feels like. I do know what it feels like, but you, you have to appreciate, do, do you, do you have loved ones around you? Okay. Do you have food? Not everybody does. Not everybody does. You know, instantly I'm, I'm hearing, um, yeah, I won't even say what I'm hearing. The way I look at it is the way I got through my stuff is, and it may not work for everybody else, um, and I don't, I don't talk about, it. I didn't used to talk about it too much, but, um, and, and no need for apologies or anything like that. Okay. This happened many years ago. It took me a long time to get over it though, or even to accept the simple fact I lost two children. Okay. So don't put all stories up there and stuff like that. It took, it was my perspective. All right. Somebody somewhere. That's how, this is how I got through it. And sometimes you have to toughen up and you have to get through stuff, right? But you can't, if you're seeing it from the derogatory to where you can hardly move, then nothing's going to get accomplished and you're going to sink, right? So this is going to hit home with somebody on here. Somebody needs to hear this because normally I don't talk about stuff like that. I just, it's very rare you're hearing me talk about it because somebody has something similar. Somebody somewhere has it worse than you. And it's the truth. Somebody somewhere has it worse than you. Has had it worse than you. Believe it or not. I mean, yeah. So be thankful. Even though. I mean, I'm mean, i not saying, you know, if you have absolutely nothing. But don't sink. There's only up. All right? There's only up. You don't sit in your sorrows. It's okay to feel it. It's okay. It takes time to heal. It takes years to heal. Right? But don't make it a way of life. We're talking 20 years down the line. Don't make it a way of life. Feel what you got to feel. I ain't saying if you've lost somebody to let them go. Take the pieces and parts with you as far as the, the communication, the memories. If it was good ones, take it with you. If you need to release it, release it. Okay? Nobody can tell you how you feel if you lose somebody. Nobody. All right? So I felt like saying that for some reason, because there's somebody on here who's had quite similar feelings and it can put you down a path that is not a good path. All right. I always got through it by somebody else somewhere had it worse than I did. And I was just thankful for the time that I did have with them. You have sometimes, and it, it's not something immediately after, after, after a while, you know, if you can't sit there forever, you can't sit there forever. So you take the cherished memories and you take them with you, but you make sure you heal. Do not leave that wound open from the past. Don't try to band-aid it. Heal yourself. Take the good. Right? And as far as material possession, stuff like that, you can always make more. You can. It's within yourself. It is. Do you have stuff sitting around you? Yeah, you probably do. Throw some stuff up on Facebook market. Make some money locally. Need gas money? I mean, gas money. Yeah. Trust me, everybody's got something going on. You know, some days it's day to day. Am I going to, you know, is it going to be gas? You know, but this is the world we live in now. 
So it's a, the way you look at it, right? See, I could be sitting here feeling sorry for myself in a corner right now, but I decide, you know what? Makes me much more happier when I'm sitting here giving out messages that might actually help people feel better and see a way out. Okay? You see the concept? It's just looking at it in a different perspective. Okay. So the next cards we write here for some, and I see, yes. Okay. These are just messages. Your commitment is being tested. And for some of you, I just said, sometimes it's a commitment of how you behaved in the past, how your life committed in your life. That's what it's about. Your past life. It's about to be a past life. And this is where we're past the ones where the person passed away. That's we're on to a different one here, but I felt like saying some of that. You got the five of spades. This is great change. And, and I heard end. A card of separation. You must break old ties. You may actually have to completely move. New location, new employment. When one door closes, another door opens. Do not act in anger. This is your don't do the fiery climax. Do the opposite. All right. This could be revolved around. Um, oh, then we have the jack of hearts. The card of romance and pleasure, a period of abandonment to self-indulgence. Yeah, do not do this. If this appears on this, okay, we're not going to take that. Yep, it says there is a warning to take life seriously and avoid excess. Okay, so whoever you're on here, you're on here. Just by the simple fact of that right there. Because of this great change, you've kind of lost yourself. Jack, it doesn't matter if you're male or female. Okay. It's somebody who just basically has gone, I'm not going to say necessarily, it's not crazy. It's not necessarily a crazy thing. It's more of excess. So you wouldn't feel. Mm -mm. Uh, then we have the three of clubs. It's a card of gossip and scandal. This could be well unpleasant social episode. Your reactions may be out of proportion. There's caution to use restraint and not allowed injured pride to rule your reason. And incorporation of your excess of whatever it is you're putting in your body. That is a message that's really going to hit home with somebody. All right, guys. Let me see. I will stay on here literally until 430 Central Standard Time. And then I'm popping off because I got to go see my data. All right. Questions. I will take four. Four questions. And they have to be general questions. If I, if I don't get a vibe on it, I'll tell you. I don't get it. All right. Now, um, for most of you guys, new guys, um, I do pop on for these free ones right here. Um, but just to let you know, I am a paid reader as well. So you guys are welcome to, if you want your own reading, go on to Rooster's Peacock, look at the book at now. I've been reading for over 28 years. I've been like this my whole, actually my whole life, but I've been reading for other people for 28 years. Susu. Susu, about your money. Um, I didn't even want to, I, I didn't feel like drawing a card, but I saw two dollar signs in my head. Misty. I saw two dollar signs in my head, which is, um, you're looking for a balance in, in the money, but it's almost like, uh, this is where, this is where this right here is coming in because you're, you're not going to be feeling the way you are right now about it. I'm just, I'm seeing $2 signs. You need a lot more. You need to put a couple more dollar signs behind those. You need like four dollar mm -hmm. signs in a row. What's that? Thousands. Okay. It's going to trickle in slow. Like the man that's doing the, um, the goat, the gold panning little bits and pieces. Okay. Don't give up. Don't give in. It'll seem like, like you're not even making enough. Like you're not even making ends mean meet right now. What? Your wheel is about to up turn on the upright around December 18th. It'll be a lot different. I'm not going to say it's going to miraculously change, but I keep seeing the little bits and pieces of would be financial come in. It's not quite enough right now. It's not, it's not at all. Okay. Uh, Okay, I will real quick. Okay, let's see. Your message is the scales will be balanced. You've been, whatever this was, is great weighing on you around Libra season as well. Okay, it's not, you're not, I'm not going to say you're going to get tons and tons, but something is going to start evening out a little bit because you've had, uh, I mean, it's not just been a bumpy ride road. You might as well have been going like this, biting your tongue all the way down. You know what I mean? Because it's been that rough. And trust me, it has been rough for everybody. 
I, I feel you. I've got animals and you wonder, you know, can you get the feed for them from one day to the next because they keep raising prices. I mean, yeah, it's, I, I feel you. This is, everybody's got something like this going on. Everybody. Nobody's missed. So just, again, it's just, it, you don't have to be positive about everything, but glass half full, glass half empty. All right. Okay, so let's see who, here's next. I said Misty, right? Let me see. What about my money? Let me see. Misty. All right, Miss Misty. I understand here. See, I couldn't figure out why this was sitting here. We got the dragon. I personally know Misty. Matter of fact, um, for any of you guys who are just brand new watching this, this is actually like uh, Rooster's Peacock and, and um, Coffee Time Tarot, which is mine as well. I'll pop on all over the place. Um, most of the people on there, it started out as a small group of like friends and, you know, we might as well be family. So Miss Misty here has been on since the beginning. And I don't feel like reading this for anybody else. This, the dragon, okay? I wonder who this is for. Sometimes I'll pull cards like that. But I don't feel that's for you, Misty. I do see the dishes fulfilled. Okay? I, I haven't talked to you forever, so you will be recognized for something that you do as well. Okay, I haven't talked to you forever, so you have to let me know if that resonates. It feels right, but the dragon here is showing your face in a different perspective. It's rising. You're rising above whatever's been holding you down. Like you're showing, like your colors. This is not a dreary dragon. This is a colorful one. Does that make sense to you? It felt right. Love connection. Is this Cecil? Let's see here. Cecilia. Is it Cecilia? I'm terrible with names. Okay. Show me. New love connection. Um, actually, I think for your new love connection, it's showing me religious factors. You guys will not see eye to eye on everything. Uh, it doesn't matter how brand new this is, or even if it is brand new, I'm not getting a beat on that. But, okay, uh, if you want to come see me uh, Friday, I start reading at 11 o'clock. So I'll have an opening like Oh, bum, 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 bum. Cecilia, I haven't forgot you. I'm just, I'm also um, a local reader here too. And I do readings face-to-face -face video chat as well, guys. The bookings, you guys can find out what my rates are. I've been reading, reading for over 28 years. They are on Rooster's Pe Peacock. And if you guys want to book a session, I can do it video chat. I do not do phone calls, okay? I like the personal stuff. I like to be able to see somebody, all right? Because you get better vibes off people. Because you can, oh my lord, some of the stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to be one of those, pay $4.99 a minute. No, no, no. I have a certain one. I have, it's 65 an hour or it's 45 for half an hour. Okay. Anyway, Cecilia, we've got religious factors, okay? It's not like you guys are going to, you guys are not going to completely see eye to eye on everything. Not at all. This could be actually about religious factors or it could be about your beliefs just in general. Okay. It says your love life is influenced by religious upbringing and spiritual path because maybe, and, and, and I'm using this as an example for other people as well, because your question is actually going to hit home with somebody else. It could be to where, you know, one person is actually religious and another one is spiritual. All right. That's just in general. Now for you, whether this has happened already or it's coming there, and it doesn't mean you necessarily have to, there's a breakup or anything. But sometimes you could be in the same household, but you go, you butt heads or whatever. It's like a breakup, right? They go their different paths. You go to different paths and it's like, eh, right? Okay. This is a coming back together. And I saw for you, this is a meeting of minds. All right. So it's two caring people who are sitting here. Um, it's learning. It's learning how to be respectful of each other's and learning how to who intermingle in your thoughts and your just life itself because there's, there's a big difference in how people view stuff and it's not about changing the other person's beliefs on what they believe or whatever it's about okay but whatever it is there's a big difference here okay you may not somebody somebody doesn't see it the way you do and it's vice versa and it's about learning to come in the middle not we got black we got white we got half cup half full we got cup half empty it's coming in the middle and seeing the color so that you can make something beautiful. That was for Cecilia. Make sense? Um, Miss Misty, but I do have an opening at this point on 
Well, you have you have to work, don't you? Are you working Friday? Just get a hold of me. Okay, let's see here. All right, 432. I can take one more question, then I'm off here, okay? Because I need to pack up and I need to go. One more. Oh, you know what? Dun -dun. Miss Monica. Miss Monica was on last time. Now, Miss Monica has been here from the beginning. Ooh. We've got the lover's card, Gemini. There will be balance brought back into a situation. Our justice will be served. I think it's balance. Yep, yep, yep. Honesty. Mm -hmm. Honesty is coming about a situation. All right, cause and effect. This is going to stand out. This is for Monica. Yep, it's, it's, it's about the balance. Yep, 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 yep. Any more for Miss Monica? Show me Miss Monica, please. No, not the right cards. One more. Your commitment is being tested. I feel like turning it over like this. This is temporary. This will be a temporary feel. Even if it's not happening now, this is a full moon read. Okay, so it's an example, like I said, you could be in the same household and be in two different worlds. This is only a temporary feel. Okay. Sorry, Miss Monica, I had to pick on you. Yep. Fertility, you'll be feeling, yep, and you'll be feeling, what, what's fertility? Like being able to um, not just produce. It's not, this is not necessarily just about babies either. It's being able to work on something and produce something. And this has to do with relationship. And as I was talking about, you'll be inspired soon in your home. That was for Miss Monica. Did that make sense to you, Miss Monica? All right, guys, I do have to pop, but you never know when I'm going to be on. Um, for you guys who like to have more of the readings and stuff, I'm going to tell you right now, that link on Patreon, they've had since October their Novembers. I do general Zodiac readings. They've had their Novembers, their Decembers. I'm going to be throwing up 2023s. Um, they'll have it all ahead of time. Okay? They'll have it all ahead of time. So if you guys like that stuff ahead of time, go join Patreon. Because here pretty soon, I will be switching up for my readings to where um, Patreon people, when I get going, those are the ones I'm probably going to be because, you know, they've been following me for a long time. And I love the new people. I love you new people, but I'm just throwing this out here. I have I've had a following for a while of ones have been there for quite a while. And I will give them precedence over when I start going on lives. Okay. It, they're Patreon people. Okay. And it, the Patreon, if you're wondering what that is, it's a platform where I upload a bunch of videos. You, you guys don't have these videos. They do. They had like, what was it? 60 something videos back in October or no, it was like 42. Okay. And it's 444 a month. It's Rooster's Peacock Tarot on Patreon. The link is on Rooster's Peacock. Once you join that, you get all, not just one, all the videos. So I'll be doing 2023s here pretty soon. And those will be exclusive for Patreon first. And everybody else, they will be released publicly on the 1st of January. Okay. Now, December's, they've had it since October. All right. And I will release uh, December's general Zodiac readings December 1st. All right. But if you want them ahead of time, go to Patreon, join Patreon. And like I said, it's 444 a month. You get everything, not just one video. Okay, guys, thank you for your time. Glad you guys could join me. And I hope, I hope it helped some. It felt right. I, you know, I, it feels right completely. Yes. And you guys enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye.